Paul players. So a fifth lawsuit has been filed against Puffy, Sean Combs, Diddy, Love Combs, all of the above. A fifth lawsuit has been filed and now he's making a statement. Y'all grab your tea and have a seat, honey, because this time he's been accused of some stuff and baby, in the lawsuit, we have some receipts that at least the girl was in the vicinity of Diddy and his studio. Grab your tea. Have a seat. I got the filing. So as we know, over the past few weeks, Sean P. Diddy Combs has been hit with a plethora of lawsuits. And now he settled that first lawsuit that was filed against him by his ex-girlfriend, Cassie. Now she was requesting $30 million. But one day after that lawsuit was filed, P. Diddy settled that lawsuit for an undisclosed amount. Now on Thanksgiving Day, there was some more lawsuits filed against Sean P. Diddy Combs. Of course, he denied all wrongdoing. There was some very egregious allegations allegations in that lawsuit as well and uh, now there's been a fifth one and in my opinion the most egregious one of them all because it involves an alleged minor now this lawsuit was filed by the uh, jane doe who alleges that she was 17 years old at the time and in the 11th grade she stated that she met one of the other defendants in this lawsuit harv pierre who was the longtime president of bad boy entertainment at a lounge she alleges that she was at this lounge with a group of friends in detroit michigan when she saw mr pierre and she was convinced by him to take a private plane to new york to Diddy's studio. She alleges that Mr. Pierre took advantage of her at the lounge and he also smoked some crack. And then they put her on this private jet. Now, uh, once she got on the private jet, she was escorted to Daddy's house recording studio. And that's where she saw uh, Mr. Combs and his associates. She said she was given some illegal substances and then she was made to do the ooey gooey with all of them. She's alleging the big GR. Now, unlike the other lawsuits that have been filed, this uh, alleged victim uh, actually came with receipts. She so showed some photos of her at P. Diddy studio and also uh, with P. Diddy himself. She says that she was 17 years old at the time. Now, as for Sean P. Diddy Combs, he has released this statement on Twitter and Instagram saying in part, enough is enough. For the last couple of weeks, I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation and my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. Sean Diddy Combs. All right, players. It is definitely not shaping up to be a holly jolly Christmas for Sean P. Diddy Combs, nor a happy holiday. Uh, it is sticky icky in that neighborhood, and it does not help Diddy's cause because a lot of people have been bringing this up that he uh, settled that lawsuit with Cassie. I mean, it, it, it was almost like an admission of guilt there, or you were trying to hide something when he settled that lawsuit. I can bet you by golly, wow, he wishes that he would have went ahead and gave Cassie whatever it is that she was requesting when she uh, brought him these uh, this uh, threat of a lawsuit behind closed doors. I bet he wished he would have not called her bluff and settled that because now this is just spiraled completely uh, into possibly accountability accountability for Diddy or a shakedown. I don't know which one it is, but either way, it's sticky icky in that neighborhood. So players, I really want to know, what do you think? Do you think him settling that lawsuit with Cassie, do you think that that, um, that helped his uh, cause of saying that he's not guilty? Do you think that, uh, that it hurt it hurt him? Does it make him look like he's guilty? I really want to know what you all think. Put your thoughts in the comments. This is Double D Mother. Reporting for the Black Hurt News.